Okay, so here we go. This is going to be a short little video for you guys in case you do not catch what I'm doing in class tomorrow. And the question that I have is what happens if we combine two of our gas laws? So what happens if we say we have a Boyle's Law and a Charles Law or a Charles Law and a Gay-Lussac's Law? or, heaven forbid, a Gay-Lussac's Law and a Boyle's Law. Um, basically what that's telling you is that you're not holding anything constant except the number of particles. Everything else is changing, so pressure, volume, and temperature are going to be all changing. So your question here, will PVT boxes still work? Absolutely. And now that we're starting fourth quarter, you might ask yourself, will I ever become chemistry master like you? And sumo boy, his response to that, you'd have to be here to hear it. But I, the closest I can come to it is, so does nay. Okay, sorry about that. Kind of went off the deep end. So... Here you go. This is the kind of problem that we're going to need to be able to solve. Guess what? You collected 2 liters of gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 99.5 kilopascals. What would the volume of the gas be at standard temperature and pressure, or STP? Well, this is a very common problem. STP right here means standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature is always 273 Kelvin. Always. And standard pressure, I actually gave you these values a while ago when we were doing pressure conversions. It can be 101.3 kilopascals, one atmosphere, 1,013.2 millibars, 760 millimeters of mercury, or 29.92 inches of mercury. Any one of those five values can be standard pressure. And what you need to do is to take a look in the problem. What units of pressure are being used in the problem? And in this problem, we have kilopascals, so we are going to be working with this value right here for our standard pressure. So, make yourself a PVT box. You've got pressure, volume, temperature, and from the problem, my initial conditions, we collected 2 liters of a gas at 25 Celsius, 99.5 kilopascals. So my initial pressure, 99.5 kilopascals, my initial volume, 2.00 liters, and my initial temperature converted to Kelvin's is 25 plus 273 or 298 Kelvin. My final conditions are standard temperature and pressure. So standard pressure in kilopascals is 101.3 kilopascals. In temperature it's 273 Kelvin. And then what we needed to do was to think about ratios. Right? What are the ratios doing? Or how are we going to set our ratios up? Because now in this problem, we're going to have both a pressure ratio and we're going to have a temperature ratio. So, um, there we go. My temperature is going from 298 to 273. That means it is dropping, and I have lost my marker. Such as there it is. Funny thing. Alright, so my temperature is dropping according to Charles' law. If temperature drops, volume's got to drop. So I drew my arrow going down here. Go up here to pressure. Pressure is increasing. Pressure's going up according to Boyle's law. That means volume's got to decrease. So if both changes are making my volume decrease, both temperature and pressure ratios are going to be less than one when we set them up. And so this is what your 
problem needs to be set up like now. In our Boyle's Lord Gas or Gila Sachs or Charles Law, we just had one ratio, and in combined law, since we're applying two gas laws, we're going to have two ratios. So I take my initial volume, that's 2 liters, 2.00 liters, and I construct my temperature ratio. We said that was going to be less than 1, so it's got to be 273 Kelvin over 298 Kelvin. And our pressure ratio, we said, was going to be less than 1, so that's got to be 99.5 kilopascals over 101.3 kilopascals. Now, i got to do my math. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. And again, I'm waiting for this to write. So I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. I'm going to multiply 2.00 times 273 Kelvin times 99.5 kilopascals. And if you have a scientific calculator, I would go divide, and then I would make a parenthesis and I go 298 Kelvin times, and I lost my marker again. This is going to be a long night. Come on. <laughs> 298 Kelvin times 101.3 kilopascals, and then I'd close it with a parenthesis, which is not showing up. But I just drew it. There it is. Okay. So 2.00 liters times 273 Kelvin times 99.5 kilopascals divided by, and in parentheses, 298 Kelvin times 101.3 kilopascals. My calculator gave me the answer of, what was it, 1.79965 And being the smart person that I am, I'm going to apply sig figs, and I see three sig figs is what I'm going to be able to keep, and that's what I've got here, 1.80 liters. Do you agree with me? Does your calculator tell you the same thing? If so, you just have learned how to do combined gas laws. Congratulations.